Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I, I, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're doing uh, having a great week so far. Uh, this is Pastor Manny. Uh, uh, this is a, a ministry we have here called Looking Up. And on Monday and Thursday, uh, uh, Pastor Bob and I share an encouraging thought for the day. And today's Thursday, and I'm not Pastor Bob, but uh, he's on vacation. So I'm going to be filling in for him uh, until he returns. So uh, just a real quick thought I have for us today. I'm going to read a quick scripture and kind of just share the thought about it, okay? Uh, this is found in Matthew 7, uh, 21 through 23, and and the whole chapter is good, and this is kind of going towards the end uh, of the Sermon on the Mount, okay? Uh, um, and so this is, this is 21 through 23, and it says this, Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On the judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and we cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. <clears throat> um, man, so this these short couple of verses are, are are pretty pretty profound and, and, and have much weight and depth to them. Um, so look, um, what I want to share real quick is, is, is this. Um, Jesus says to them, to these people, first of all, they say, Lord, Lord, which when a name is said twice in the Bible, um, it means there is some kind of relationship there. Okay. So, uh, Moses, when he is, is in the burning, when he's in the, at the burning bush, uh, God calls out to him, Moses, Moses. Right. And so, um, um, that's one, just one example of, of, uh, um, that where, where where you call out to a name twice or three times and there's that there's some kind of relationship there right and so um these people and and, and they just ch check out this scene okay so this is a, the the judgment scene right and, and and people are saying lord lord didn't we prophesy in your name didn't we perform miracles in your name didn't we cast out demons in your name and jesus is like yeah 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 that's nice he says but Get away from me because I never knew you. And um, man, this just that's that's so profound because uh, you would think that that these people had some type of relationship with him, uh, but I believe it was very very superficial, right? And uh, um, Jesus is more concerned on, on the judgment day. Uh, what's gonna what's going to get us access is our relationship with Jesus and us accepting him as our, as our savior. And, and and our obedience to him that's what's going to matter right and and um, um many people many people think like man i'm a good person uh you know i say the right religious things but in reality uh, G only only knowing jesus and having faith in jesus will, will count on that day and i'm not saying that those other things don't matter that we shouldn't uh pray for miracles that we shouldn't uh, understand prophecy and 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 it says people will prophesy at the end like your sons and your daughters will prophesy right at the end and i'm not saying those things don't matter um but ultimately ultimately what matters is is your relationship you're knowing jesus and um it's 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 kind of like this uh i grew up playing basketball and so whenever i would go play basketball go play pickup games or or do leagues and stuff like that i would run into people sometimes here and there where they would talk a big game, right? They're like, man, like I did this, I scored this many minute points last time, this, this, and this. And it's like, man, this person sounds like they're really good, right? But then when they get on the court to perform, they don't sound anything what they tell what they talked about, right? So um, that's called being a self-professed athlete or self-professed basketball. But uh, they talk a big game, but their athletic skills don't really show it, right? And and it's the same thing with us as Christians. Um, Jesus is more concerned about our walk than our talk. And he wants us to do what is right, not just say the right words. And, and, and I'm going to close with this. What you do cannot be separated from what you believe, right? What you do cannot be separated from what you believe. Um, so that's just that's just a thought I, I want to share with us today. Um, I hope you're all having a great week again. Uh, go out there. Be Jesus to somebody. Uh, uh, be love to somebody. Be, be uh, uh, forgiving to someone. Be merciful to someone. And uh, reflect the love of God wherever we go. All right, I, that's our role. That's our job as Christians, just to shine that light. All right, uh, um, I'm praying for you all. We are praying for you all. I hope you all have a blessed week. Take care, and and, and see you soon.